bro. Man, I tell you what, man. I'm at uh, this street here, three February, and um, I'm going to uh, wait here for a little while. Um, around the town and just got back from um, it's a place uh, Salinas it's a, is a other town yeah so uh, oh, look at that police up there too gotta get the zoom in right try there you go there you go you saw it here you saw it here on Philosopher's Stone Tube you saw the best gang stalking ever now I just filmed a little midget did you see the midget? that's how I started the video and I had to like pretend I was all you know goobly talking oh look orange uh, fluoro we got the fluoro of course we got it Philosopher's Stone too. Of course we've got it. We'll get sound harassment. We'll get it all. Um, yeah, what's interesting was um, <laughs> they, I oh, I just got off the bus another gang stalking day. Every time I go to that same town, you're going to see a whole video on it. Um, I get back and sometimes it's like this as well on the way back. You know, monitoring on the way back. But what just happened then was uh, that, that little midget guy he was a like an actual midget he came and the girl turned around from the bike and smiled <laughs> that kind of smile the girl turned around nothing to do with him she pulled up same corner I, I put my um, things in the bin and saw the midget and looked at her and she smiled at me in a <laughs> circus fashion Right, Matrix Circus DMT archetype shows you. Right? And last time we had the lady in the fluoro yellow in the uh, stroller, like the, so she was like basically disabled maybe. Do you see what I'm saying? Now they put like another disabled there. You see what I'm saying? And now they're gang stalking the video because they'll say, oh, you're filming it. Do you see it? Do you see it? I knew to that, oh, and look at this, and fluoro yellow. Same fucking shit, different day. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's never ending, man. Like, gang stalking doesn't end, and a whole bunch of gumbies and stuff, right? They, they, so I'm just checking behind me to see who's listening, because it's this bad. I just look like a paranoid weirdo now. Oh, look at that, like, just boom, straight out the side of the street, yeah? Real, oh, and look, waiting for me coming. I already looked. I see where where is he? <laughs> Fucking man! If you see gang stalking, you know what I'm talking about. Hit the like button. Oh, look at this whistle, whistle and shit. I got the whistle out. <laughs> she got the whistle. Did you hear it? I hope the recording picked that. It's so weird. Like got the whistle out here. Hola. <laughs> well, they're parking inspectors, I think. Transit. She's just done her whistle. Maybe she's whistling for the person who owns the car. Find oh, police in there, bro. Just police just there. Do you see that? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Man, it, it just happens, doesn't it? Right? Like, it's so weird, man. Like, it, this hasn't stopped all day. Like, it's just been the weirdest fucking day. Where you, you know, that's the type of thing that gang stalking is, like a simulatory experience. Right, it's like simulation, and you see that they're simulating. Like, why did the girl look at me with the the circus smile? It wasn't a different smile. And don't don't tell me I can't tell what's on a person's face when I've done eight years at university. I'm not that fucked up. I know what I'm seeing. I'm a shaman. I see it. And they fucking they smile at you in this like little sneaky smile. It's the same every time. And it's like, because they know that you know, but no one else around you does, right? So that's the, that's the point of it. Remember, I already, like, said that. I said, man, they're trying to make you look crazy, right? And then crazy just means an ambiguous word. 
There's no meaning to it, right? And that's how they work as well. And they're ill sick logic. So I hope I'm fucking tying it all together for you because it's uh, from the start of this video, a really good example. Now this video comes after same simulation one and two. Oh, well, you're gonna see the plane. You're gonna see the plane circling. It's pretty interesting. And then uh, same simulation one with the police officer on the bus happened again. Like it just like it's just so weird, man. I go to the same town and the same shit keeps happening. Like exactly the same like rollover. Do, do you know what I mean? Like if it was from a, a database and you were made a little JavaScript game out of it, like I could. I mean, I could literally make a game out of this, and I know exactly how to make it. Oh, man, we should do that. I could code a little simple game, like call it gang stalking game or something, you know? Oh, man, that's a good idea. Because this shit is mentally ill, man. And that's the point, they're trying to make you that way. Fuck, I don't know where I am. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, yeah. So I just really wanted to tie that all together from step to step, and they all the tr they're trying to get dirt on you all day, and it's informational, right, and also physical as well and then you see the the there was the intimidation and the noise to start singing out loud nervously near me like it just doesn't end man i get the whole gang talking there it's like they're roboting and then suddenly they burst out around you and it appears like a nervous system connection and a mental connection right it's always a hive invasion And we have the noise there because it's Philosopher's Stone tube. We got the best gang stuff, and it's just uh, can't even. It's the best. Should, oh, fuck me, man. I'm so sick of it, eh? Like, it's the same. You guys see the simulation, right? And then you can see other gang stalking channels and their simulation. So we, we all have the same basic thing, the same programs are running through these people and it's not just MK Ultra. that's what I'm trying to say, it's like, it's the larger thing, the hive mind, right, and, you know, I think deeper things, like, different species, and the collective unconscious, right, you're dealing with a lot of their collective unconscious. Yeah, man, important. I made an important point, so the, the noise campaign had to put me off. Uh, so, yeah, collective unconscious. In organic portals and gang stalking, we're dealing with a lot of that. Collective unconscious, like Carl Jung's stuff, right? The psychologist Carl Jung, his sort of thoughts on this, I agree with. And I can definitely see uh, <laughs> he saw his own gang stalking. It was pretty interesting. And he also talks about it that when... One thing uh, I, I did realise why he was trying to say that to kind of save the theory. He was saying you can get to a point that you're, you think that everything's targeting you. This is like actually what he, what he writes in his books. You can get to a point where you think everything's special for you and targeting you. He was talking about synchronicity. When he, he came up with the word synchronicity, Carl Jung, right, he put it into a book. And the first time he put it into the book there, he was talking about this sort of stuff. And it's essentially gang stalking. That's how we know it today. Like, when you have these uh, circumstances which are very like weird, right, and um, in a chain that connect across time and across space somehow, right? And then even just the hive mind is that. <laughs> Topologically across the space and, and mentally and across different individuals, right? And etc. So I mean, yeah, Carl Jung was onto this, man. Like, it's very interesting. He just didn't call it gang stalking, right? It's a good name because it's very basic. Just a gang of people and they're stalking. And it's about stalking your energy. And they're trying to make you conform, basically. So that's why I just think they're just the natives of this, this place. And this place is not like what, what you see at first notice. You're like, oh, trees and this and that. But like, you know, that's not what we're in here. That's like all part of that illusionary part of it and how it's a simulation, like the different beings that are not in front of you coming through people, right? A multi-dimensional sort of, sort of idea and all that. <clears throat> and 
and you know mostly though i think with the frequency control we're we're looking at people's collective unconscious i mostly think that now uh, i've been waiting a long time to be able to like say oh fuck the noise campaigns i've been waiting a long time to be able to say that like conclude what i think uh, we should be focusing on the most in gang stalking and it's the collective unconscious aspect of it we're definitely dealing with that part of people because you know how they're the fake light grid and they think they're good but then they do them bad on you and wreck your life by like putting people in jail prematurely and stuff not that that's happened to me but they've tried try harder but you still won't i'm too quick too good too smart for them my friends it's not going to happen and the more you see this the better you get at it as well and become a way way better player character right you can see see the smooth moves see what i did there there was a whole bunch of organic portals i would have outside a restaurant i would have walked through a net of bad energy so i turned the corner bam because i can see it i know what was happening not because i'm afraid because it's much nicer that's why <laughs> Ah, oh, free from the fucking psychopaths, right? That have to make you notice them, right? And I'm not crazy, because all that means is that you don't know how to describe me. And that's exactly what I've said, that I'm complex, complexity not. So you're only reiterating in, in stupid wording what I've said in intelligent wording, right? And you've got to be careful in gangs talking about that. You can't get away, you know?